<laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Monday. It's another Monday. How's it going? Good morning, everyone. Hello, welcome back to the vlog. It's another wonderful Monday morning. It is day 51. <laughs> day 51 of the vlog. What's kind of insane to think about? It's it's another Monday. I already said that part. It's another wonderful day in the house. Now, as it's a Monday, it means that, uh, you know, it was the weekend. Hopefully, hopefully you, you know that. So, over the weekend, I watched quite a few films and starting off, I'm going to put you on here. Starting off with number one, it was Wes Anderson's Moonrise Kingdom. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun film. Some weird moments, but also, I really, I like Wes Anderson. The second film I watched was... Zodiac. I watched Zodiac. Uh, I've kind of been on the David Fincher grind, if you've been following the vlogs. I watched the whole of Mindhunter within a week. I really enjoyed Zodiac. I thought it was a brilliant film. Very, probably my favourite out of all of them. Um, is Apocalypse Now. It's one of those films that you need like an hour afterwards to kind of just to soak it in and really understand what happened. It, it takes a long time to, it's kind of been on my mind ever since. Uh, and it's made that our best 31 films of all time list. Um, at number six, I believe. I've been doing a bit of writing and also a bit of reading. I've been reading The Anatomy of Story. I'm really enjoying it. But today I have something planned, as you could probably see by the title of the video. Today I'm talking about my favourite directors episode two. It's the second episode, mainly because I felt that with all the other ones where I do different episodes, they were really far apart and I kind of, I felt like I really wanted to talk about it. So I moved it forward in the schedule. Before I do that, I have quite a packed day in terms of editing wise. So I'm going to get on with that. And then um, when it starts getting sunnier, I don't know, I might go outside and talk about it. Who knows? I've decided to... I've decided to watch a film watching Aeroplane. I haven't seen it in ages, so I thought I'd, I'd rewatch it. But yeah, so now that's finished, I'm going to get on to the topic of today's video. So about two weeks ago, I spoke about uh, some of my favourite directors. But obviously, I, I have a lot more directors that I really like. And I want to share with you if you haven't seen them. But no, number one, one of my favourite directors is Spike Lee. Uh, Spike Lee, I've had to study him, and that's how I kind of found him uh, through my film studies. And I just really like his work. So if you're studying film, it's most likely that you're going to come across the film Do The Right Thing. Do The Right Thing is an incredible film from 1989. But not just that film, but I really like other Spike Lee films. Uh, Black Klansman as well is a phenomenal piece of work. I really, really love Black Klansman. As well as Crooklyn is another film I really like of his. But we've also done films like Malcolm X, Inside Man, which is also really just mind-boggling. Basically, in short terms, he is a brilliant director. But he's also a very, very, very influential director, I'd say. Do the right thing is one of those films that you ha like you have to watch. It's a very, I'd say it's one of the most important films that really speak a message. It, it is a great piece of filmmaking, and the opening will have you hooked. It's just the amount of stars in it as well. It's it's brilliant. But also talking about Black Klansman, uh, that leads me on to uh, one of my other favorite directors, that is Jordan Peele. So Jordan Peele produced Black Klansman. So Jordan Peele, you may know him from um, Key and Peele, him and Michael Keegan's show. It's like a comedy sketch show. It's really funny. I love it. They're basically all on YouTube on Comedy Central. Kind of watched them all in a very short amount of time, so I'm very familiar with it. But Jordan Peele, he really, he really has two big films that he's done, and that is Get Out. What as uh, I mean, as soon as you know, I, I I really love Get Out. Oh, it's a brilliant film. Oh, come on, get back. But his most recent film that came out is Us. Alongside his film, he has quite a lot of TV series going on. He has Lovecraft Country that's coming out soon. Uh, I'll probably watch that's coming on HBO Man. But he also produces quite a lot of the newest Candyman that's coming out. That's going to be produced by him. And I'm quite looking forward to it. So the next person is Greta Gerwig. Uh, Greta Gerwig is a brilliant director. I can go over days about, you know, films like Lady Bird. Lady Bird is absolutely brilliant. As well as being a brilliant director, she's also a brilliant writer. Um, like Francois, I was, you know, partly written by her. Also recently, she had Little Women that come out. That I'm glad it got recognition at the Oscars. Because it, it was a good film. I mean, it was a really, it was just a really, really well done film with great performance. Performances. Next up we have Bon Joon-ho, uh, Bon Joon-ho who actually won the Oscar this year, his Oscar winning director. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really watched much, much of his stuff uh, before he won the Oscar, uh, but I've been, you know, slowly watching some more of his films. Hopefully I can find Parasite somewhere, or I might just buy it off iTunes, that probably sounds like a better suggestion, Max. One of the films I really like of his 
is obviously uh, Okja, just because it really surprised me. Well, I really enjoyed Okja, I think it has an absolutely brilliant message, and I can't wait to watch more of his stuff, so um, I definitely think he's one that people should watch. Um, films like Snowpiercer are also brilliant. He just has a really good taste for like what actors he uses and who he casts in his roles. I can't wait to watch Parasite, I've seen so much about it, I think I need to just watch it now. So next up is Taika Waititi. Taika Waititi is, I'd say he's probably one of my favourite Marvel directors up there with James Gunn. I do think Guardians and Thor Ragnarok are where the MCU should go in terms of directorial decisions. But no, Taika Waititi, he's kind of just kind of come into the light recently. But he won an adapted screenplay for Jojo Rabbit, what's really cool to see. I'm so happy he won that. But he's just a lad. I'm sorry, like, you just watch one interview with him. He's just, he's such a lad, but he's basically involved with everything now. He's in a new Ryan Reynolds film, a uh, free guy. But he also has a Hunt for the Wounded People going good places. He also has a series now where he's reading out James the Giant Peach with like loads of celebrities, but it's really cool. But no, he's directed episodes of The Mandalorian and... Eh, He's a cool guy. He's just a really, really cool guy. Uh, but next up, I have the one and only Christopher Nolan. Uh, I was going to put him in the last video, but I couldn't fit in him. So Christopher Nolan is a British director, uh, which is really cool to see. And But he's kind of taken off. He's gone to Hollywood, and it's kind of insane, his career. I mean, the follower that's got a Criterion Collection. But also, you just have to look at his films. Like, <laughs> Inception, Interstellar, Tenant that's coming out. What I can't remember. I think it's one of my most anticipated films of this year. Also, Dunkirk, what I absolutely love. God, I could go on for death. Like, Memento, and that's not even mentioned the Dark Knight trilogy. But definitely watch Inception, it will ruin your mind. And also, Dunkirk is brilliant. But yeah, that just about does it um, for today. That's all I can't have time for. I apologise, I could do an episode three. I probably will do an episode three at some point. Seeing how it does. I mean, like, I haven't even mentioned what Tarantino has got to say, Z. Like, I haven't, like, the Safety brothers, I still have to talk about them, so. If you want to stick around for more, make sure you subscribe, and and also check out my other videos down below. There's some better than this, and there's also some much worse than this. So, you know, take your pick. So, if ever do, thank you for watching, and goodbye.